Hello, in this video we're going to solve two-step equations which involve brackets. Now there's two ways that you can do this and it doesn't matter which way you do in the exam but one way over the years I've found um, is better because people forget. So what you can do is you can divide both sides by 8. Now it works for most of them if they're nice numbers and all of these are nice numbers and it would work for. However, if this was a number that wasn't divisible by eight, it makes the question a little bit harder. So the method I always show is expands the bracket first. Now what we mean by expand the bracket is whatever's on the outside, we times with what's on the inside. So eight times x is eight x, eight times four is 32. And we've got an answer of 88. So what we have to do now is the same as when we did the other two step equations in video uh, three. We have to do the opposite of adding 32. So we take away 32. What that leaves us is 8x is equal to 56. Now to get rid of this 8 times x, we divide by 8. So x is equal to 7. Now we do the same process with when there's a negative here, we just have to be very careful that we get the right sign. So we've got 4 times b, which is 4b, 4 times minus 5, which is minus 20, and that is equal to 24. Now the opposite of taking away 20 is adding 20. So we've got 4b is equal to 44, now this means four times b, so the opposite of times in by four is dividing by four. So we know that b is equal to 11. Now these, this expanding one here is slightly more tricky um, because we've got a, a number in front of the x. We do exactly the same as before, but we just have to make sure we don't just write two x. We need to make sure we do two times two x. Now two times two is four, but we've also got to times it by x, so we've got 4x. 2 times minus 3, which gives us minus 6, and that is equal to 14. Now the opposite of taking away 6 is adding 6. So we've got 4x is equal to 20. To get rid of that 4, we divide by 4, so x is equal to 5. 